Hello everyone, uh, this is Paul here with uh, Member Press. Today we are going to cover how we're going to move uh, our members from one Member Press website over to another. Now, um, this, this video, it'll probably end up being about 10 minutes long if I had to guess. Um, and we're going to cover just how to move users. And uh, I'll be recording um, some other videos on how to move subscriptions and transactions afterwards. So, we're going to make a few assumptions for this video. Uh, that A, you have your new website set up already. You have um, your memberships set up, your groups, rules, all that's already set up on your new website. Um, and that you have um, set up your payment gateways, custom fields, uh, all that's already been configured on the new website. Okay, so everything's done, it's ready to go. Now we just want to move data in from an old from an older website. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, go to our members page, and we're going to come to the bottom, and we want to export all. Make sure we choose this this option here, export all. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me this option to save it. I'm going to save it right here on my desktop. And I'm going to open this file in Excel or whatever you use for your um, spreadsheet uh, software. So what I did here, I just highlighted, this, I just clicked in the corner square to highlight everything and then I double click on the end of one of these highlighted squares and it just readjusts the data so that you can see everything. Um, so what do we need to do next? Well, we need to get rid of some stuff in here that is not necessary for uh, importing users into a new website. So let me just show you here. I'm going to pull up the member press importing documentation. And this is the section that covers importing users. Um, so what we're going to want to do is just make sure that our column names in the new file or in our file match up with what the importer expects here. So we've got username, email, first underscore name, last underscore name, and register. These are the ones we're going to care about for today. Um, the uh, oh, we do care about the address ones as well. We're going to change those. Address 1, address 2, city, state, and zip. And country. Everything else we're not going to worry about today. The one thing I will say um, that's important to remember is the user's password is going to be lost. And I'll show you why here. Let me see if I can pull up the website. So here is a list, and this is just a test website of mine, so there's lots of uh, silly test users here. WordPress does not store a user's password anywhere. What they do is they use a special algorithm to uh, hash, encrypt these passwords um, in such a way that if a hacker were to get in and steal this information, yeah, he's got their username, he's got their email, I mean, he knows maybe a little bit about them, but he doesn't know their password. Um, and so WordPress keeps passwords secure. This is a great security feature. The downside is if you move your members between websites using you know, an importer like MemberPress's importer or some other kind of importing plugin, these passwords um, are going to be lost. Uh, so what do you need to do? I would strongly recommend that you let your users know ahead of time, hey, we're moving to a new website, um, your passwords are, are going to need to be reset. So expect a password reset email. Um, this little courtesy, if you will, of letting them know what to expect can go a long ways into saving you a big headache uh, with support emails and customers freaking out that you know, worried that their account may have been hacked or yada yada yada. So 
copy their email address from here, set up a free MailChimp account, send out a campaign, just let them know what's going on. I would highly recommend doing that um, just so you don't run in, uh, cause yourself a lot of headaches with uh, you know angry users. Okay, with that said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run through this exported file of our users and we're going to clean it up and get it ready for import on the new site. Now, I promise this isn't terribly hard, um, but uh, you know we are going to go through and walk through these steps, and we'll take our time and make sure we do this right because uh, we don't we don't want to have to do this all again. I promise. So the ID column can go. We don't need that. They'll get a new ID when we import them. Username and email. We definitely need those to stay. The name column can go. That's just their first and last name, which we already have. And we verified first underscore name, last underscore name. That all matches up. Now there's a whole bunch of data here about their subscriptions and stuff that we don't need because we're going to handle that in a separate import. So we're going to get rid of everything all the way over here to total spent. So I'm just going to highlight, I just clicked right at the top of these and dragged it over to highlight all these columns. Now I'm going to right click on one of these columns and hit delete. And that's gone. Member address one needs to be changed to address one. Address two, city, country, state, and zip. I think that's uh, how it all mapped out. Address one, address two, city, state, zip, country. Okay, so that's all fine. And these are our, our custom fields in MemberPress. Now each custom field comes with its own slug and these slugs need to be uh, your column headers. Now at the beginning of this video I said make sure you you've set up your custom fields on the new website and let me just show you what I'm talking about in case you're in case I've lost you in the dark somewhere. These are custom fields and so here's a multi-select custom field you can see my slug here is uh, Mepper Multi, and another one Mepper Dropdown, and yada yada yada. So these are my um, custom fields. Each field has its own slug. Now, if you've recreated these fields on the new website, which you definitely should do, um, assuming you want to keep that data, you may um, have named it slightly different, and so the slug might be slightly different. So you need to go to your new website check the custom fields that you've set up and just see if um, the slug down here has changed. If it has changed then you need to come into your file and you need to update the slug so that that it matches what the new website has for that fields slug. And do that for each one of these um, before you import. Okay, so with that out of the way this file is totally ready to go for import. And what we're going to do is we're going to say File, Save As, I'm going to choose my desktop, and I'm going to call this Users Ready for Import. And I forgot one thing that I'm going to just show you really quick here. You do want to say yes here, keep it, keep using this format. I realize some things are going to be lost, that's okay. Um, well, nothing's going to be lost, it's just some formatting features that you might get otherwise are going to be lost because it's just going to be a plain text CSV file. Now the one thing I forgot to mention was this registered column. It does need to be in a MySQL format so I'm going to highlight this whole column. I'm going to choose format cells and I'm going to go custom. Now I did that by right clicking so I, cl I left click to highlight the whole column and I right clicked at the top and chose format cells. I'm going to choose custom and I'm going to enter year, 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 year month month day day hours hours colon uh, minutes minutes colon second seconds and the year month and day these are um, separated by a hyphen or a dash whatever you call it and the hours minutes and seconds are separated with colons so once you've entered that we're going to click OK and I'm just going to go I'm just going to save the CSV again yes I do want to keep it in the format and now we should be ready to rock for import. So I'm going to close this file out. I'm going to say don't save because I've already saved it just barely. 
so I don't need to save it again. And now we can come to our new website. We're going to choose users. Uh, we're going to go to member press import. Now this is you have to have the importer um, installed. If you don't, come to this activate tab and make sure your license key is installed and active and then come to this add-ons tab and find the importer. There it is. And just make sure that's installed and ready to go on the new website. Okay, so we've got user selected here. I'm going to choose the file. Users ready for import. We'll do that. And now if you've, you know, you've let your users know they're you're moving them to a new website, they'll should be expecting a password reset email. Go ahead, check this box, and then you'll click upload. Member press will run through the whole import and uh, and your users will be on the new website and uh, so like I said this isn't terribly hard um, but following these steps properly and making sure your users know ahead of time that their password is going to change um, can save you uh, a lot of headache so uh, up next I'm going to record a video on how to do the same thing for our subscriptions and then after that we'll do we'll talk about how to move the transactions over Again, none of this is terribly hard. Um, it will be a little bit tedious or time consuming, um, but doing it right, taking the time to make sure it's done right, is going to save you a lot of headaches, I promise. So I uh, hope you find this video useful. And uh, you, if you guys need any help or have any questions, you know, please reach out to our support. And uh, we'll do our best to respond and make the, the migration as easy as possible for you. And that's it for this time. We'll uh we'll see you up next on the subscriptions video.